air fryer frozen french fries today we're going to be showing you how to cook from frozen air fryer fries hello my name is samantha and along with my husband dominic who is behind the camera and also uh, my best friend when it comes to the air fryer we are going to show you today all about air fryer frozen food we started using the air fryer way back in 2011 and in in our first ever experience of using the air fryer, we actually cooked frozen chicken strips. Since then, our air fryer knowledge has moved on, but back in 2018, we were asked by one of our readers uh, to try air fryer frozen French fries. We did this and then we started a brand new trend and showing people that you can cook delicious frozen food in the air fryer. But Quite often, frozen food has this kind of taboo attitude towards it. But even though frozen processed foods isn't great for you, it can still save you a lot more calories compared to saving um, food in the deep fat fryer. So I'm looking forward to sharing with you our frozen food recipes. Well, here we are, and this one is my favorite, and that's because Air fry frozen french fries was the first ever frozen food that we shared a recipe for on recipethis.com. That was back in 2018, I think in either the October or the November. And we could not believe how much people loved our version of frozen french fries in the air fryer. I think it was the realisation that you could have your fries in the air fryer for the same amount of calories that you would have for oven chips and for them to taste even better than what they can taste in the deep fat fryer. They were absolutely amazing. And I can't believe it's taken us until now to actually do a video and show you how easy and quick it is to do the fries. And if you're just starting out with your air fry journey, I highly recommend it because it teaches you how to understand the cooking times of the air fryer and get into an air fryer cooking routine. So that leaves opening the bag and seeing what these fries are like. I'm using McKay's, but any brand of frozen fries are good. It's just that we live in Portugal and Portugal is very much the Mediterranean diet and it's really not very heavy on processed foods. So there's not actually that much choice here. So McCain seems to be all that we really seem to have. And plus, because when I've done these fries before in the air fryer, I've always tested it on McCain's. I think for authenticity, it's much better to carry on with that. So one thing that's very important to know when it comes to cooking air fryer frozen French fries is the size difference on your cook times. I mean, a lot of people ask me, uh, how long to cook air fried frozen french fries and it's like which fries are you using because you can get you know, by McCain's you can get uh, quick cooking fries and basically what they are they're the same fries that you tend to get in the pub when you go out for lunch and they're already cooked fries and all you're actually doing is reheating them so the cook time is like five minutes at the most and I mentioned this on the blog and they're like, well, my fries took longer than five minutes. And it's like, well, we're using a different type of fries. So bear that in mind. Look at how chunky our fries are compared to the fries that you might be using. And you also notice that I'm doing it by hand because I don't want to overfill the air fryer basket. Take a good look at the air fryer basket now with the fries in. What's important to note is that when you're cooking food in the air fryer, I'm talking your fries or other types of potatoes, you do not want to overcrowd your air fryer basket. This is the ideal amount of food and how full to fill your air fryer basket when you're doing fries, potato wedges, roast potatoes, breakfast potatoes, and other similar recipes. And if you're interested in any of those other style potato recipes, we have them all at recipethis.com. Just search air fry potatoes and you'll find them all. So anyway, potatoes, uh, frozen french fries are now in the air fry basket and we're ready to go and cook them. What I suggest is 12 minutes at 180 Celsius 
360 Fahrenheit. So let me put mine on for that. So let's set the temperature. Quite often your air fryer will hold the temperature and the time of the last thing you cooked. So this depends on how many buttons you need to press. And it's on. So I've just paused the air fryer for a moment because we're not quite done with the fries yet, but it's recommended when cooking air fryer frozen french fries that you give the fries a shake. This kind of stops them from sticking together and distributes the oil better. You just do it like this. You're, you're basically doing it like you would be if you were flipping a pancake. You know, just a, bit, a little bit in the wrist to get them moving, but not enough where the fries are going to fall off. And then once you've done that, you can place it back on. The air fryer will remember how many minutes it's in and you can just press the play button again to carry on the cooking time. What we did was we put it on for 12 minutes and we've done our shake it four minutes remaining. So it's up to you when you do it, any time between halfway through cooking and three quarters. And there's the beef. So at this point it's done 12 minutes. And then you can give it a shake and you can tell that these fries are actually cooked. So 12 minutes is all it takes, but notice that these fries are quite thick so take it down to about 10 minutes if your fries are a bit smaller. I should also mention that if you subscribe to the newsletter at recipethis.com, so at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter, you can then enter the members area and in there we do actually have an air fryer fries cook times sheet. So you can see the cook times for the various different types of fries, print it off at home and then place it on your fridge for easy reference. So looking down at these fries, you're probably thinking they look a bit anemic. Well, we're recording this in late November in Portugal and the lighting isn't great. So they don't actually look that white in real life. Oh, but if you do want more of a golden colour to your fries, what I recommend you do is spray them with a little bit of extra olive oil and olive oil them for the last two minutes of cooking and this will really help give them a lovely glow. So I like to use any of my dishes that I have to hand depending on who I'm feeding or what else we're having for dinner. It's nice just to have a big portion of fries that we can place on the dinner table for us all to share and also you can you can leave them in the air fryer for a couple more minutes add some grated cheese and you have cheesy fries. But also note that when you do this, um, the cheese does make a mess in the air fryer. So even though you enjoy your cheesy chips or cheesy fries as you may call them, uh, you do have a clean up operation afterwards. So let me give you a closer look at these lovely fries, shall I? So, as you can see, the small ones always have more of a crisp on them. So if you do want them a bit more crispy, just three more minutes, 200 Celsius, 400 Fahrenheit, and you'll have that wonderful golden glow. Just depends on how you want them. Uh, like right now, they're just like um, your regular style of fries. And you can salt them like you would do if you're having Mackey D's fries. In this video today, we have been using our Philips Air Fryer Excel. Please comment below with which air fryer you use as it would be nice to compare notes and ask in the comments any questions you may have about this recipe that I'm sharing with you today. Because you are here, the chances are you want to learn even more about the air fryer and become more familiar with its capabilities. We recommend that you head over to recipethis.com and search mini course and you will find a fantastic five day free mini course teaching you everything you need to know to get started with the air fryer. I'll also add it in the links in the description to make it even easier for you. And it's been a pleasure to share with you one of our favorite air fryer recipes. Thanks for watching. We have a huge collection of kitchen gadget recipes, including air fryer, instant pots, slow cooker, soup maker, and many others. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media. Best of all, join our newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter. There we have plenty of printables, cooking time cheat sheets, free ebooks and mini courses to help you along your way in your kitchen gadgets journey.